Hi everyone, today we will be talking about persistence methods. So, what persistence methods are methods do is that they answer two questions. What to do when channel is is busy and the other one is what to do when it's idle so there are three persistence method the first one is one persistent it is very simple and straightforward what it does is it senses it senses the medium and sends whenever it finds it idle so it sends frame immediately when it finds the medium to be idle the chance of collision in this is highest why as many station can send can sense it as idle by diagram we can say like say this is time and this is frame is sending and we are using the one persistence method so it is continuously sensing whether it is idle or not station is busy right now so at this point it senses that it is idle so at this point it will sense and transmit okay fine so the next method is non persistent method what this does it is it also sends the frame when the station is idle but if it is not it is not idle it waits for a random amount of time of time and then it senses again so the chance of collision is reduced as there is unlikely that both the station will wait for the same amount of time so yeah reduces collision and efficiency is also reduced why because the medium may be idle but because of the random time of time it is waiting so it could have sent before so the efficiency is reduced like say it senses here then it waits for some time it senses here then waits for some time then it senses here waits for another random amount of time then it senses here so at this point it will sense and transmit
so as you can see it could have transmitted here so the efficiency is less in this protocol so that's non persistent and the next one is p persistent in this method the channel is divided into time slots which are equal or greater than max propagation time so what this does is it reduces the collision collision and has slight better efficiency than the previous one so what happens in this protocol this persistent method is that in this method if a station finds the line idle then with the probability p the station sends the frame that's why it is called p persistent so it senses that if the line is idle then it takes some probability p and by that probability it decides to send and with probability so if p is the probability of sending then q is equal to 1 minus p is the station waits for the that is it doesn't send and waits for the next slot to begin next slot and then it checks again then it checks again first now it is checking again if the line is idle it goes to step 1 that it again with probability p and then otherwise if p is it considers that it acts as though a collision has occurred a collision occurred and use back off procedures so back off procedures were waiting for a some amount of time usually they are let's say in the powers of 2 so this is how the persistence method works so the next in the next video we will be seeing the protocol csma with collision de detection so that's all in persistence method see you next time